first problem of the modern consumer or the modern market is time. I don't have any. Hence why 2020 cricket is always going to be a spectacularly successful and it is, it is only a matter of time until it dominates the cricket scene. Because fundamentally 2020 serves a marketplace that says, I am time poor. Jim's business, Jim's franchising business, is fundamentally successful because Jim attached into one thing. I will franchise anything where people are time poor. Isn't it? And I will pay you a fortune to help me to save time. Because I have no time. I can make money, but fundamentally we all have the same amount of time. And that is being stretched and stretched and stretched. So I reckon, from, from a business perspective, if you want the major idea, look at a business and say, does it solve a time problem that exists? Because you never create a market, you serve a market that already exists. The next thing that I think I've got to do and, and this is the next common, this is the next fundamental problem of the new consumer, is attention. Does the new consumer have the same quality? Absolutely not. Not only won't they trust you, they will tell the world that they don't trust you. And Michael Dell learned that very valuable lesson. Because Michael Dell one day decided that there was a particular gentleman called Jeff Jarvis. Great book called What Would Google Do? Fantastic book. He was pissed with Dell. And he took his own destiny in his own hands he wrote a blog about his experience. He just blogged it. And he had 652,000 posts of people who had problems with Dell. The organisation fundamentally forgot that the cat has a voice. So you've got to get people to trust you. Now, how do I get people to trust you? I think you have to be authentic. Personally, I'm sick and tired of wolves in sheep clothing. That's my bugbear. I've seen too much of it. It's a load of shit. I think that you've got to be authentic. I actually think that you have to be less than perfect because people are drawn by your vulnerability, not your perfection. I also think that what you have to do is that you actually have to have social proof driving through. What's that social proof? The power of testimonies. Because I don't believe you but I will believe what others say about you. Correct? Okay. Because I think already some of you, have you, some of you been recorded by Dale to do testimonies? Okay. That is a marketing attempt to say, this is how good we are. Don't believe me, Dale, but believe the people. Of course, you should be doing video testimonials because video testimonials are inherently more powerful because they operate on the principle of passion which is sometimes difficult to get in the written word. They are visual, auditory and kinesthetic and operate on all modes of communication operating at the same time. Pretty powerful stuff. So I reckon I've got to get testimonials there. I reckon I've got to do things like case studies. I reckon I've probably got to have FAQs, frequently asked questions. Don't you agree? 
Because fundamentally, really, if I can solve these problems of time, attention and trust, then effectively, I'm going to have people who are actually going to start promoting my brands and products for me. It is the most powerful form of marketing. Now, let me just explain to you also something else about the new consumer. I I told you before that your responsibility was to market to me emotionally. Um, And effectively, um, your responsibility, we always buy, we always buy emotionally. So fundamentally, you're investing in my heart. Your responsibility is not to send a message to my head. Your responsibility is to massage my heart. And here's what I'd like to tell you about. Not everyone has the same heart as you. 